समाज At the end of this lesson you will be able to define the comma learn the rules of the use of the comma Hey Fleck what are you looking for I am looking for my craft book Vivi I can't find it Hey here it is I thought I had lost it Aha You must take care of your things, Fleck. Hey, I have an idea. Why don't you keep all your craft material in a box? That way, you will never lose them. Good idea, Zizi. I'll put all the things in this box. Yeah, Zizi. I have made my craft box. Very good, Fleck. Let me see what you have put in the box. What is this, Fleck? Uh, these are the things I have uh, put in the box. Book glue, clay buttons. Doesn't that sound funny? Hey, that's not how it is supposed to be read. Read the words one by one. Fleck, you have forgotten to put commas in between the words. How will I know when to pause? Ah? Huh? This is what Fleck has written on his craft box. Can you make sense of the number of items mentioned here? Let us find out what is missing. If you look carefully, you will find that this line is made up of many words. The words are scissors, craft book, glue, colors, clay, button and beads these words belong to the same category or collection of craft materials let us now separate these words using the comma now this sentence is written as scissors comma craft book comma glue comma colors comma clay comma buttons and beads so what is a comma the comma is a punctuation mark commonly used to separate a word or a group of words it indicates a short pause or break the comma is used in a number of ways in english writing commonly to separate a list of words of the same category There is one thing that you must remember while using commas. As a general rule, we do not use a comma before the word and in a list that contains many items. Let us look at an example. There are red, blue, pink, and yellow flowers. Here there is a comma before and after the word and. These commas are wrongly placed and have to be removed. So the correct manner in which the words have to be written is red, blue, pink and yellow. Oh, now I get it. Vivi, can you give me that pencil please? Not this one, Vivi. The red pencil you gave me for my birthday is under the craft box. Oh, you mean this one? Here, take it. The comma is used to separate a word or a group of words from the rest of the sentence. In a way, it is used to mark out or separate the less important parts of a sentence. Let's take a look at the conversation Zizi and Fleck had earlier. Fleck said, "Zizi, can you give me that pencil, please?" "Zizi, can you give me that pencil, please?" Fleck is requesting Zizi to give him the pencil by using the word 
please. While writing the sentence, the comma is placed before the word please to show the importance of the request. Now let us look at the other example. The red pencil which you gave me for my birthday is under the craft box. In this sentence, the comma is placed after the red pencil and before is under the craft box. The commas separate the part which you gave me for my birthday from the rest of the sentence. This part tells us something more about the pencil. If we remove this part, the sentence would still make sense. We can mark this as the less important part of the sentence. So the comma helps us understand the difference between the less important and the more important parts of a sentence. Is this right, Rizzi? Very good, Flex. Now you have your very own craft box. Yes. Hey, let me use my craft materials to make a copy of your face. Sure, Flex. Go ahead. What is this? That does not look like me. Flex, come back here. <laughs> Hello, friends. Wasn't Zizi's picture really funny? <laughs> Let's revise all that we have learnt in the lesson on commas. The comma is a punctuation mark commonly used to separate a word or a group of words. It indicates a short pause or break. Generally, we do not use the comma before the word AND in a list that contains many items. The comma is also used to mark out or separate the less important parts of a sentence. 